This is our third example of solving a system of linear equations two by two. That is two equations in two variables. And we're using the addition method still. Sometimes called the method of elimination. Now remember our first step is to line up our equations x, y equals constants. So let's do that step. The 4x is on the incorrect side, the wrong side, so we have to move it, so it becomes a minus. 7y is on the correct side, so we just leave it sign. We have equals, and the 10 is on the left. We need it to be on the right side, so it becomes minus 10. Here we have the 6x is on the incorrect side, so we move it to the left side. It becomes minus. The y is on the correct side, so it stays the same sign and equals, and the constant is on the correct side, so it stays a 2. Now we're looking for the constants with which to multiply these two equations so that we can add them up and eliminate a variable. The first thing to notice is that this time we have the same sign on the x's and the same sign on the y's. So we're going to have to bite the bullet and multiply one of these by a negative number. Now we could use 6, the opposite of this, and 4 with a minus, the opposite of this. But that gets to be really big numbers. This becomes 24, this becomes 42. So if we want to, we can look for the least common multiple of 4 and 6. And if you note know those things well, you could see that that was 12. And then we would say 4 goes into 12 three times, so we're going to be using this by 3, and 6 goes into 12 two times, except that we have to have our negative there. So you can use 6 and 4. The system gets to be really big that way. So a good idea is if you know how to do least common multiples, to do that. So let's multiply. First one is a positive, so none of the signs change. 3 times minus 4 is minus 12. x plus 3 times 7 is 21. y equals 3 times minus 10 is minus 30. Now we have minus 2. That means we have to change all our signs. This is negative, so it becomes 12x. This is positive, so it's going to become negative. 4y equals negative 2 times 2 is minus 4. So we're set up to add and we see that we get 0 here so we eliminate x. Now our next step here is to go up to the top and pick the most simple of the two equations. This equation looks simpler so we'll write it down 2y equals 6x plus 2. And now we have our blue and red makes purple. Minus 12x plus 12x is 0. Plus 21y minus 4y. So there are different signs. So we subtract. We get 17y equals. These have the same signs. So we add the numbers and put the sign in front. Minus 34. We have what we need, an equation in one variable rewrite our dragger. Here's our dragger. 2y equals 6x plus 2. And now clean up this one. Divide both sides by 17. So minus 34 divided by 17 is minus 2. So we have our value for y, which we substitute into the top equation. So put a little implies sign there. Here we go. Now we're working on this one. So 2 times purple minus 2, we're going to put a parenthesis around it because it's minus, equals 6x plus 2. And now we're dragging y equals minus 2. Clean this up and solve it for x. So we have minus 4 equals 6x plus 2. And our dragger, y equals minus 2. And so we have 
6, we have, we're going to put this on this side, minus 6x equals 6. I moved the 6x to the left, so it changes sign, and this side I added 4, so I got 6. You can take an extra step, which I would do if I was on paper, but I'm running out of space here. So our last thing is to divide both sides of this top equation by minus 6, and we get x equals minus 1 and y equals minus 2. And that is our solution. If we write it as an ordered pair, we have minus 1 minus 2, x and then y. Let's check it in the other equation. So which equation did we use? We used the bottom one, so let's use the top one now. 7y plus 10 equals 4x. So we substitute minus 2 for y. So 7 times minus 2 plus 10. We're asking whether that is 4 times minus 1. So we have minus 14 here plus 10. And we want to know whether that's equal to minus 4. And we can see that it is. So we're done. And this is our solution in written form and our solution in ordered pair form.